Welcome back. I am continuing with my quest to beat all the low-rated bots on chess.com, and the current one is Noel, or Noel from Finland. All right, so I'm choosing random colors, challenge no help of any kind, and I will click play. Once again, for the fifth or sixth time in a row, I random has given me the white pieces, so not looking very random. That's the same thing that one of the previous bots played. Very interesting. I don't think I have to do anything about that right now. All right. These bots, the last couple have been really excited to open up this diagonal next to the king, which I believe to not be good. Um, not only are opening principles about occupying and controlling center squares, but uh, also about developing pieces toward center squares and bringing the king to safety. I don't know of any opening principle that says we can your king but ah uh, you know what let's go ahead and take the full center and see what happens okay we're pushing the a pawn i don't think noel is very good at chess but i have been known to lose in chess sometimes So I'm just going to go ahead and develop another piece. This is aiming this way. Okay. Now, this looks a lot like I should just go ahead and, and uh, pull this knight out. Let them take my knight. Check here on h5. They could block with the knight, but if they block with the pawn, uh, no, no, that's not looking that good. Not yet. However, um, I am going to go ahead and take this knight with my bishop right now. The only way they can take back is with that pawn, and that will leave this diagonal completely un undefendable by either the pawn or the knight. They're not going to take it back at all. Okay. That doesn't seem good. Then uh, let's put this knight here, which will be able to attack any piece that tries to block my queen check and see what happens. Okay, so now if I check with my queen, if they block with this, I can take with my knight, but then they could take back and my bishop will be pinned to my queen. So. Uh, I think I should go ahead and take that pawn first, then check with the queen, and they can't block it, so the king has to move. Okay. Now I can check with my knight, but then when the pawn captures, the rook is defended. So, makes me wonder if I shouldn't push this pawn first so that my bishop will be able to come in here. I also think I should castle first before continuing with this attack. Another idea is to put my knight here hitting the bishop. So these are all considerations because all these moves that that Noel has made over here are not affecting me at all except that knight move the knight is actually threatening this pawn um so that makes me wonder should I go ahead and defend the pawn or should I push the pawn to attack the knight I don't know I I'm going to defend the pawn okay that doesn't look good because now if I check and they take there's no rook hitting my queen, but I just lose a knight that way for a pawn because I could take back. But I'm going to castle, I think. I don't think that does anything. Now, in addition to pushing this pawn, which frees my bishop, I can just put the bishop here attacking the rook. 
But that allows Noel to just push this pawn uh, to block that. So that doesn't seem very good. Um, oh, wow. Good job, Noel. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I almost hung my queen to a bot rated 550. Okay. Um, yeah, I clearly need some help. Uh, and that uh, rook is protected by the knight. It's attacking my queen. So I should move my queen out of there, I think. I could also do this, which again frees up the bishop for this move. But I don't know if I push my e pawn, Noel can hit it with four different pieces. So yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I don't think that'll be good. The only thing about that is if Noel does take back with any of those pieces, well, not the rook. If he takes back with the rook, I just take it for a pawn. But if he takes back with any of the other pieces, like these two, then my bishop is pointing right here. And I can go ahead and take that with my queen. Ah, no, this is getting dicey. I should just pull my queen back now. Yeah, I should pull my queen back to here, I think. Okay. I got a little bit uh, overexcited about breaking into the king's side there, and it didn't quite work out. At least not the way that I had hoped. I do need to get this knight out, maybe here, aiming for that square, where from which I can attack the rook. So let me get that knight out. This connects the rooks, which is the rest of my development. Okay, that knight has undeveloped itself back to its home square. So I am going to go ahead and with my plan of putting my knight here and see where the rook goes. Will the rook undevelop as well? No, the bishop has gone backward. Wait, are they preparing a, uh, a rook battery here headed toward my king? Uh, but no, they're not because I'm going to take the rook now. And they're not going to take my knight. So I'm going to bring my knight back. And further back. And then I'm going to aim to bring this knight this way. Okay. Uh, Noel has left this pawn undefended. And since I don't see a quick mating attack right now, I am going to take that pawn. And then I'm going to bring back the bishop. I'm playing, I guess, conservatively here. I'm being overly careful, probably. There probably was something on the king's side earlier. Um, but I think I would rather be safe than sorry. Um, that's just the way I roll. Let's see. What can we do here? That's actually, I mean, I don't know if that's a bad move or not. It, they probably, the computer probably had better moves, but I mean, that actually does defend all three of these pawns. If I try to push forward here, I think that just to open, uh, allows this pawn forward, which blocks my bishop's path. I mean, then I could t attack that way, but the queen comes in and is aiming down here someplace. So... I do notice that this pawn is undefended. So I, you know, I'm kind of entertaining notions of putting my queen over here, but I think the rook could come in this way then. So maybe not. But what about the knight move? What about knight to g4, which hits that pawn? And it would be protected by my queen. Let's try that. Okay, I just realized I have all eight of my pawns still on the board. 
Well, but not for long, because it looks like uh, Noel is finally making a charge through here. So I'm going to take this pawn, which attacks the rook, and then we'll see where the rook goes at that point. The rook did not go anywhere at that point. Okay. Well, I can give a check here, but they can uh, Noel can easily block the check with the knight, or move just simply move out of the check. However, that would allow me to pick up this pawn. But right now, I think rook for a knight for a rook is a good exchange for me. So I'm going to do that. I know it allows the queen to come across. Well, the queen probably should have come across, but it didn't. So... So let's check. That's interesting. I think before we do that, I, I want this rook here pointed across at that queen. Let me do that, and then I will consider this. All right, um, I am up on material significantly. I could just take that. And Noel's refusing to take my knight right now. But um, but I think I want to do this and see if that pawn recaptures. Okay, they finally took the knight. Finally took that knight over there, which was a long time coming. I don't know, should I take with this? I think I should take with the pawn, which is also check. Okay, and um, my rook is guarding this now past pawn. I would like to get my queen over there, say here, for example. What's the fastest way to get my queen to that spot? I mean, I could go here attacking the bishop, which has nowhere to go. And then when it captures my bishop, I could bring the queen then I would be threatening this pawn as well as check. So let me do that. Uh, okay, this bishop has moved, threatening nothing. I don't think. I don't think I'm in any danger here, and certainly not right now. Let me capture that bishop. And the king has captured back, which allows me to check with my queen. And... I think we have mate because the king can't come off the back rank. The knight will have to block and I will pick it up. Oh, but now that the knight's not there, it just easily moved out of the way. But I have a follow-up check here. Oh, I could have just won the queen for free. Good grief. But that's okay. I have mate. All right. Wow, I know I made some mistakes in that game. It took me 32 moves to checkmate Noel. And I clearly missed some things like the free queen there. But in that case, I don't think that was a mistake because not taking the queen resulted in checkmate. So uh, let me run the game review and see what it says. Okay, the game review says I did fairly well, 78% accuracy, but I did have a blunder and a mistake as well as two inaccuracies. So we're going to run the game, uh, the start review, and uh, once again, it is not working. I have to play the first move before I can go the rest of the game review. Seems like a interface bug. Oh wow, that was brilliant! I'm well for one move of this game. I was brilliant playing the knight. There was brilliant. Okay, next key move. That was a blunder. All right. Should I have checked here? Because that's kind of what I was planning on doing until I realized there would be this and this. And that was best, it says. It's good to get your piece off its starting square and into the action. That is a incorrect message because this is not about developing a piece. This is about an attack on the enemy king here but I again I don't understand why they wouldn't have just moved this pawn forward 
Oh, it says that would have given me made in six. But that was their wasn't that their only legal move? Yeah, that was their only legal move in that situation. And then I would have tacked it with my knight, right? Which is what I said. Okay, now here they would have had choices. They wouldn't necessarily have taken it back. And in fact, it says their best move was here. Oh, because if they took it back, that was mate. So their best move would have been to... Whoops, would have... Oh, now, now it says taking that pawn is brilliant. Okay, but their best move would have been to move the rook. But then I would have moved the knight. Anywhere I move the knight is check. Like, what would have... How bad would that have been? The rook would have had to have blocked check. But then I would have removed the pawn. No? Did I read that wrong? Oh, no, I would have removed the rook. Wow. Then they could have taken with the pawn, but that would have been made. Okay, so I misread that whole situation. All right, so going back to the review where I, I should have checked here. Nope, back to the review. Why does it keep switching tabs on me? Okay. That was right. That was my blunder, and queen check here was the best. Okay, next. It was an accuracy to castle. You still have the better position, but you lost your winning advantage. Okay. So should I have checked here like I thought? Is that what it wants? It's thinking, and that's not it. Okay, that was a blunder. That's what I thought. All right, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that, because it looked like they would just take me and I would have no compensation. Okay, it was this pawn move. Okay, that pawn, that e5 was the best. That threatens to break open this here, plus it opens the bishop to down here. Okay, I did consider that during the game. Retry. Bringing the queen back was a mistake. So was it the pawn move again? Yes. E5 is best. Okay. Remember we talked about that. I just didn't know that after one of these captures, if that was still going to work out well for me. Was there... Did I miss anything else? Okay. Okay. Apparently my my mistakes and blunders were all around that uh, move 6 through 11, where I had a brilliant move, but then I followed that with a blunder, and then an inaccuracy and a mistake here. But everything else was fine on my behalf. The bot did not have any blunders, but it did have 5 mistakes and 6 inaccuracies, and I, I was ahead the whole time. So anyway, uh, well, we beat the 550 bot and we will be looking forward to who's going to be next on our list of bots after Noel is uh, Oliver will be next. I've never played Oliver from Ireland. All right. Well, we'll see you then.